to my channel this is magnona technologies today we are starting our series on laravel now laravel is a web application framework with expressive elegant syntax so to get started with laravel first of all go to the official website which is laravel.com now when you type laravel.com in the url of your browser and you hit enter it will take you to this particular landing page so right over here you can click on get started over here or you can just click on documentation which will take us to the documentation page of our laravel now when we come to the documentation page you see that it takes us to the installation but first of all i want us to look at the prologue then let's look at the release notes now laravel has a release cycle of one that means every year a version of laravel is released and each version comes with the php version that it supports so you can see that currently we are running laravel 10 and the php support is php version 8.1 to version 8.2 then laravel 11 as you can see will be released in q1 of 2024 as you can see we are seeing over here that laravel 10x requires a minimum php version of 8.1 now assuming you are running a lower version of laravel and you want to upgrade to the current version you click on this particular link then you can follow the instructions to upgrade to 10.0 from a lower version so what we wanted to do today is just to get started so let's go back to our get started and click on installation now somebody will ask what does the 10x means now the 10x over here assuming you are running laravel 8 10.1.0 that means you are running a version of 10.1.0 so let's say in a few months time you might have 10.2.0 so that is why we have the 10.x over here so the x is just meaning that the variance of the laravel 10 versions so that is what we have over there so you can see that we have laravel 9 laravel 8 laravel 7 and the rest so the current version of laravel that we are running now is laravel 10. now to get started with laravel you will need have what we call composer on your computer so when i come here and i open my terminal and i type composer dash v as you can see it is giving me the version of composer which is 2.2.9 now let me also look at the version of php i have to be able to be sure that my version of PHP satisfies the requirement for Laravel 10. So I'll type PHP dash V. Then you can see that my version of PHP is 8.2, which means my PHP version also satisfies the requirement for Laravel 10. Now, if you don't have Laravel a Composer installed on your computer, just open your browser and go to google and type composer then over here you click on the name that says getcomposer.org because that is the official website for composer okay so it takes you to the official page or official website of composer now somebody will ask what is a composer now composer is a dependency manager for php or what we call a package manager if you are familiar with npm then you know that composer also does something similar 
at npm is for node and javascript so that is why we have node package manager now when we come to php the dependency manager is what we call composer so to install composer on your computer just click on get started now every operating system and how its installation is done so just follow the instruction then you pick the installation process which is suitable for your operating system then you install composer on your operating system after you are done installing composer on your operating system come back to your terminal and type composer dash v then it's you know you have something like this so that means composer has been successfully installed on your computer that means you are ready to now install your laravel now let's go back to the laravel.com in the documentation so now you can see over here laravel is a web application framework with expressive elegant syntax so a web framework provides a structure and starting point for creating your application allowing you to focus on creating something amazing while you don't sweat the details but the maintenance of the laravel framework are the ones that does a major part of the work for you so to install laravel okay that's your first laravel project to install laravel Okay, you need to have PHP and Composer installed on your computer. Now, when you are done installing PHP and Composer, then there are two ways of installing or creating a Laravel application. The first one is you are going to use the package manager, which is Composer. Then you use the command create project Laravel Laravel followed by the name of the project that you are creating or you may create a new laravel project by globally installing the laravel installer so to install the laravel installer you are only going to do composer global require laravel slash installer so when you are done installing the laravel installer the only thing that you want you, you will do if you want to create an application a laravel application is just to type laravel new example app but if you don't install laravel globally using this and you want to be using this approach that means every time you want to create a laravel project you are supposed to type composer create project laravel laravel followed by the name of the project now since we are done installing our composer and also having our php installing our php on our computer we are now ready to create our first laravel project so we are going to use the first method which is composer create project laravel laravel followed by the name of the application so to do that let's come to our terminal inside our terminal then we are going to type composer create dash project laravel slash laravel followed by the name of the application so i'll say laravel dash n for beginners then we hit enter so you can see that I have already installed a Laravel project before. So you can see that it's extracting from the Laravel archive already on my computer. So you can see it is installing Laravel Laravel and the version is 10.2.6. So you just wait for the installation to be done. Then we can now move on to create our application okay so now you can see that our laravel 
project has been created successfully. Now, to be sure that our project has been created, now let's leave the content of our directory. So you can see that we now have our project over here, which is Laravel 10 for beginners. So what we are going to do, we are going to change directory, which is CD, into our Laravel project. Then I can now, we can now open it in our test editor. So the editor I am using is Visual Studio Code. So I will just type code, space, then enter. With this, it is going to open my project inside my VS Code. So as you can see over here, our Laravel application has been created. Now let's go back to our documentation page. So we are saying that after the project has been created, we are, for you to start Laravel's local development server, we use what we call the Artisan, the Artisan CLI to serve the project. So what you are going to do is, we are being asked to CD into the application which we already did. So the next thing is, we are going to type PHP Artisan Save. Now, since I am using Visual Studio Code, I will just click on Terminal over here, New Terminal. Then, when the new terminal is open in my Visual Studio Code, I will just type PHP Artisan Save. Then I hit enter. So as you can see, you can see that a local server has been created for us. So you can see info, server running on HTTP 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. So there are two ways for you to access this particular link. The first one is you copy this link, come back to your browser and paste it. Or you can, if you are on Windows, you click on Control, then you click on the link. Or if you are on Mac, you click on CMD Command, then you click on the link. So you can see that if I bring the cursor over here without clicking on Command. The cursor sign doesn't change to a hand. You can still see the IP. But immediately I click on the command, you can see that it now changes to the hand. So I can now click on it, then it will open the link for me automatically without me copying and pasting over here. So when we come back to our documentation, so you can see that. Once you have started the Artisan Development Server, your application will be accessible in your web browser at this particular URL. So you can see that when we do that, after typing the PHP Artisan Server, we are now on the home page of our Laravel application. So guys, isn't it amazing that with just these few steps, we are able to create our first Laravel application. Now, the most amazing thing here is that I'm also going to make the Laravel learning process very, very easy for you by showing you some simple steps and tasks that you will do which will help you to become a very good Laravel developer. Thank you guys and also if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want you to click the subscribe button and hit the notification icon so that anytime a new video of this particular series is released, you will be the first to have a notification so that you can follow me step by step then at the end you will be able to become a very good Laravel developer. And also please share the videos to your fellow programmers 
wanted to learn more about Laravel. Thank you.